you know all about the almost endless versions of Spider-Man? How many Spider-Men are there? A lot. And believe me, you don't know them all. That's why today I bring you the 10 most powerful Spider-Men. Here, I won't develop the classic version of Spider-Man because it's really unique. Spider-Ham is not here either, and certainly not Spider-Pig. Spider-Pig, Spider-Pig. I'm sorry, Spider-Pig, you're my number one. So, the first on this list is... Scarlet Spider, Kane Parker. They need my help. Get to safety. I'll be back for you. Many have taken the name of the Scarlet Spider, like Ben Riley, and even Peter Parker himself was called like that. However, today I'll talk about the most powerful, Kane. He is the first clone of Peter Parker created by Miles Warren. Yes, in case you didn't know about it, there are a few clones of Peter out there. What? Clones? Despite the fact Kane is a clone of Peter, he's so much stronger, faster, and has much more resistance. He's able to lift up to 30 tons. And what's more, Kane made a display of strength when he was able to knock the wild rhino out during a battle. In addition, he has superhuman reflexes, which are 40 times faster than yours or mine. Reflexes that allow him to dodge projectiles and laser beams. Look at all these incredible stingers in his forearms. Stingers that are able to cut even the hardest metal. Oh yeah! But that's not all. Kane's advanced musculature produces less fatigue toxins, making it unstoppable, making that his combat style is more brutal. Totally. Uh, listen, I... Miles Morales. Miles? Who is Miles? Don't freak out. My name is Miles Morales, and I'm Spider-Man. That's right, this great version of Spider-Man is quite different from the Peter Parker that you're accustomed to. Miles has African-American descent, but he also has a touch of Latin flavor since his mother is from Puerto Rico. Miles was bitten by a spider that had been part of an experiment, much like Peter Parker. <gasps> Thanks to this, Miles has an improved strength and agility of Class 5. That is, he can lift 19 tons of weight easily, which is the equivalent of a great white shark and throw it at his enemies. Who could imagine that such force was hidden in a body so small? Did you call me small? What happened to you? Is it the supervillain diet? In addition, Miles also has a venomous ray with which he can temporarily paralyze his enemies with a single touch. And its most interesting ability of all, the arachnid camouflage, which allows him to mix with his environment and surprise his enemies. In Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, not only did you know more about Miles, but also there is another version of Spider-Man that stands out for his ability to break the bones of the thugs, and that is... Spider-Man Noir. <laughs> Holding a good revolver comes to this list Spider-Man Noir, but better let him introduce himself. It's 1933, and I'm a private eye. I like to drink egg creams, and I like to fight Nazis. A lot. Spider-Man Noir takes us to extremely violent times inspired by the period of the Great Depression. In other words, the terrible outcome of the economic crisis. This character really looks like an authentic gangster who mercilessly faces his enemy with powerful firearms, including a powerful machine gun. But don't think he only has a good shot. He also knows how to fight crime by force. He knows all the tricks. But if there's something in which Spider-Man stands out beyond his incredible skills is his epic suit made of Kevlar, which is bulletproof, and big explosions. And of course, a suit as distinguished as this one must always be very well combined. That's why Spider-Man Noir wears a dark raincoat and a hat that matches perfectly. This character is quite independent. I work alone. <laughs> being his best ally, the darkness of the night during a battle. This joyride ends now. Spider-Man 2099. Awesome! You're Spider-Man, but you're... who are you? Are, are you me? And what's up with the costume? Is that a metallic fiber? <laughs> I'm sure you know him more like Miguel O'Hara. I'll tell you, he's the head of a research department on genetic transmutations. And what do you think? It was precisely after an accident in a laboratory that Miguel turned into this amazing Spider-Man. Ah! 
As far as I'm concerned, this is one of the most amazing suits created for Spider-Man. But can you believe that this is actually a costume that Miguel wore on Day of the Dead, a Mexican holiday celebrated throughout Mexico? Just as you hear, and although it was originally just a costume, it's made with unstable molecules, which makes it indestructible. Regarding his ability, this Spider-Man has an impressive ability to heal quickly, allowing him to regenerate his damaged tissue faster. On the other hand, the Spider-Man 2099 can move so fast that it's able to leave a track of his body to distract his enemies as a decoy. Can you imagine how confused they would be? Spider-Side do you remember that I told you that there were many Peter Parker clones out there? No. Yes. Well, this is one more on the list, and he appeared due to an experiment that Miles Warren was doing again so that he can create someone capable to kill the real Peter. Thanks to Warren providing the genetic engineering to Spider-Side, he has improved abilities and some new ones such as the ability to control his body completely. He can also change his shape and appearance and even extend his limbs just as Mr. Fantastic would do. On the other hand, Spider-Side is incredibly resistant to any injury, falls from very high places, and bullet wounds since he can control the density of his body tissues. Because of his accelerated healing factor, Spider-Side can heal from an injury approximately 20 times faster than Peter. Wow! That's right, 20 times. Superior Spider-Man Look at this amazing suit. It's very elegant, don't you think so? This version of Spider-Man belongs to an arachnid world that made a 180-degree turn when the body of Peter Parker was taken possession by the mind of the well-known villain Otto Octavius. But how is it possible? The result of this inconceivable event is that the memories of Peter and Otto are combined. Amazingly, at the moment Otto is inside of the body of Peter, he stops being now the same villain as always in order to be better and become a real hero. Do you believe in miracles? Yes! The Superior Spider-Man is a much more violent version, since he uses all his strength without hesitating to pull the trigger to get rid of heartless villains, as he did with Massacre, a murderous psychopath. This behavior not only threw me, but was worthy of the participation of no more and no less than the Avengers. <laughs> Nevertheless, Octavius managed to stay in Peter's body. But as not everything lasts forever, at the end of the series of this comic, the mind of Peter Parker manages to get his body. Cosmic Spider-Man Oh my god. You have to see this amazing suit. He shines as if he were an amazing galaxy, but if you're really immersed in the world of comics, you'll realize immediately that he borrowed it from the Captain Universe. Well, it was actually the Enigma Force that this time chose Peter Parker as a bearer of this energy that gives him great powers, turning him into one of the most impetuous beings. Would you like to know what he is capable of now? Yes, I do! Well, I'll tell you that he has amazing strength by saying that he throws cosmic rays that can destroy solar systems and even entire galaxies. Not only can he heal the sick and wounded, breathe in space, travel in time, and the most amazing of all, the power of molecular alteration to modify all kinds of things. Of course, this tremendous power could not go unnoticed, because many villains like Graviton, gigantic robots, and Sentinels are behind him to kill him. But at the end, thanks to his magnificent powers, the Cosmic Spider-Man gets rid of everyone in no time. Awesome. Iron Spider You again! Missed me, didn't ya? Got a new magic trick to show you. In the film Avengers Infinity War, this suit saved Spider-Man from suffocating death by trying to follow the ship of the evil Ebony Maw. We're too high up, you're running out of air. Covering his arachnid body just in time. Stark, it smells like a new car in here! The creator of this fascinating costume is no more and no less than the great Tony Stark, who designed it especially for Spider-Man. However, we can see the wide differences not just into the design, but also into color between the comic version and the big screen. On the other hand, what characterizes the great Iron Spider is that he has these incredible mechanical spider arms. In addition, thanks to the power of the most advanced nanotechnology, he can survive at higher altitudes, survive against the bullet wounds, and also, he can run into different versions since his suit is made of intelligent material. Awesome! This version of the arachnid as a superhero definitively fights battles to another level. <laughs> Oh, <laughs>
of which he'll always be successful. I am too good at this. I've watched other versions of this amazing armor in television series and video games, but I definitely stay with this version of video games. Although, if you think I'm wrong with my choice, let me know in the comments, please? Symbiote Spider-Man What the hell are you? I am Venom. Darker, more ruthless, but above all, more powerful. But do you know where the symbiote came from? Everything began during a trip to space when a dark spot adhered to the Spider-Man's hand covering his body completely in order to give rise to this new version which provided him some powers and skills in a drastically improved version. But how to imagine that a simple black spot, yes, the one which colors the classic costume of this superhero, is actually an alien that inhabits Peter's body like a parasite. Then you're just not real, you're in my head, because you're just a parasite. PARASITE?! <laughs> When Peter realizes that this being seeks to master his mind and body completely, he tries to get rid of it. After several attempts, Peter manages, in the bell tower of a church, to expel it from his body. Nevertheless, as the symbiote came from the space in order to stay, it took possession of Eddie Brock's body so that it can give life to one of the strongest enemies that Spider-Man has had. Get ready, because the version of Spider-Man that I'll present to you next is quite terrifying to the point of making you reconsider the love you have for this arachnid character. <sighs> Yummy. Zombie Spider-Man Zombies! Run! The zombie apocalypse came into the arachnid world and this Spider-Man will not hesitate to devour you. This version is very, very creepy. Can you believe that this version of Peter Parker was able to eat Mary Jane and her beloved Aunt May? <laughs> yes, just like that they were eaten up by zombie Spider-Man as a consequence of his insatiable voracity for meat. And of course, I know what you're thinking right now, how can a repugnant zombie be so powerful? And to answer you, I dare to ask you another question. Do you think you are everything you eat? Well, it seems that the zombie Spider-Man took it very seriously, because he absorbs the powers of the characters that he goes eating. That's how he got the cosmic powers by devouring the poor Silver Surfer, and then when Galactus is eaten up, managing to quadruple his powers. Also during his zombie state, this version of Spider-Man was able to kill Venom, Red Skull, and defeat the Green Goblin. Wow, definitely the zombie virus that invaded the body of this Spider-Man ran into one of the strongest. Now it's time for an arachnid advice. If there's something that's holding you back in your life, just just let go, be in the moment. And remember, I uh, love you all. But that's all, folks. Subscribe to Trend Max and activate the notification bell so that you always receive the best contents.